What's up, everybody? Welcome back to Third Person. This is your Third Person Podcast. My name is Chris, and with me, as always, are Mike and Jesse. How's it going? What's up? Guys, we got another what if for you. And this week, so hey. this video's what if is going to be what if Shane killed Rick? So, that's it. What the hell do you guys think? Mike, let's go over to you because. Oh, I don't know. <laughs> you want to, my whole theory was like, yeah. We just uh, we just threw uh, Jesse just threw a, a big Jesse wrench threw, into keeps Mike's throwing uh, wrenches. I'm like, all right, I'm gonna be all prepared. Well, Mike, go ahead. Tell us what Call you think. Call me a plumber. Why don't you? T- t- yeah. <laughs> tell us what well, you I had. had. I had. If there wasn't a shot, a gunshot fired, because obviously in the show in the woods, Shane had the shotgun, Rick had the knife, and if, for instance, there was a tussle of some sort. <laughs> Shane doesn't ha- doesn't kill him uh, doesn't kill Rick with the shotgun but possibly Rick's knife the knife or all right, something we'll, okay we'll yeah. go with that all right then there would be no gunshot and um, then the herd wouldn't be you know on top of the farm as as quick as it was and in my was... theory I kind of do believe that eventually no place is safe and the farm eventually would get overrun regardless but what I have is just the way Dale questioned Shane and the kind of man he was, I feel like the group instantly would question uh, Shane. Maybe not to his face, but I think they're maybe under their breath, maybe in their heads. Maybe they'd communicate about Rick. You mean about Rick not coming back? Um, not necessarily just because just by the fact that we know what kind of character Shane is. Uh, so I think there would be a lot of whispers behind be, the thing. But see, but that'd be crazy because when Rick came back without Shane, everyone was like, "Okay, yeah, we get it." He's, That's what he, I'm yeah, saying. We, yeah. yeah, and then he'd come you back. And they'd be he, like, "What'd you do? What'd you do? What do you do, <laughs> you asshole? You exactly. murderer!" You yeah. murderous fiend! Like that's what maybe that's the what people it would, would be. be scared and not necessarily say something to him because Shane is like an intimidating guy. Um, but in that, from from that, I would definitely think Lori being the the moron that we, I, I couldn't stand her. I know you guys couldn't stand Lori's character in the show, really. But eventually, I can see Lori going right back into the bang and Shane kind of a thing. And I think the character that would see through Shane probably most immediately would be Carl. If Shane was the one that was coming out of, um, that's even a cool thing. What if we mm-hmm. see, like in the show, what if mm-hmm. Carl, just like he does, he shoots Shane? What? How would Carl react to having shoot his father if his father was was the Walker? Right. Um, but eventually, I think that maybe they would have a little bit more time on the farm. Herschel may still be alive. It would be a little bit length as far as. Wouldn't with, Herschel with have wanted to kick them off though? I exactly. Think- Herschel would have been like, I mean, you know what? I, I told think, you to get out of here. I think with Shane, would he strong on the like that alpha guy? He would, yeah, do you he maybe would have been would, like he would have. They would like, have stayed on the you, farm. Yeah, you yeah, know. Yeah. Okay. Um, but Lori may may or may not have have given birth then on this uh, on the farm, and by that maybe she wouldn't have the name Judith. You know, maybe there could even be a change of names there. Yeah, yeah. Um, who knows? Um, but like I said, Lori getting, you know, she, I can see her just, just go, coming, running right back to Shane. Yeah. And eventually I can see the group being destroyed by Shane being the leader and possibly um, Lori and even Shane leaving. You know, I just feel like she's like that puppy dog person that she would stay with know. him because she, she, he, he can protect her son and her, yeah. and her baby. So yeah, she. I think I would. I agree with that. I think she would stay yeah. there. But now, would he go? Would the governor shit still happen? Probably. Would they leave eventually and find the prison? Probably. Well, that's why I said you know eventually, um, and this is without Jesse with the gunshot thing. If there wasn't, I, I I would always think that they would be on the farm longer. You know, we see in that episode as soon as the the you know Carl fires the gun, the herd comes toward the farm and it's overrun. If that does, if that's not the case, then um, there would be some more time there. How, who, you know, who knows how long, right. but eventually no place is, is safe. And I can just see just Shane destroying the trust of the group and um, going separate ways. And I can see Lori going with him, especially, you know, if uh, Shane believes that the child is his, Lori might even, you know, Lori admitted it, that it could be. Right. Yeah. Shane's baby. You know, okay. So yeah, yeah. I don't know what about you guys. 
Jess. Go ahead, Chris. Nope. Like, oh. <laughs> all right. So I got a couple of wrenches here. <laughs> I gotta so, dodge. I gotta I like dodge ball. I gotta die. If you could dodge a wrench, you could dodge a ball. Is happening in my scenario here because there's three things. It's not going to be just one gunshot. It's going to be two more, and you know why. Glenn and Daryl are in the woods. They're finding Randall. Shane knows they're on the right track. Therefore, he's going to go in there, take them out. So not only is Rick not coming back, neither is Glenn or Daryl. That's going to put the group on high alert. Yeah. The next thing, Lori does not trust Shane whatsoever anymore, does not want anything to do with Shane after that attempt at rape scene in season one. Or no, season, yeah, season one. Season one. Yeah, so she's not well, going to believe him. Uh, Number two, she's, she's he's... damn naive. <laughs> I, don't, I don't think so. She doesn't want anything to do with him at all. I don't think she's naive. Number I just two, think... if, if by some miracle, Herschel let him stay and they ended up getting off the farm all of them together to the prison, he wouldn't have thought to chop off Herschel's leg. Herschel would have died. The baby would have died. Nothing would have changed there. He might have shot the prisoners, but the baby wouldn't have had a doctor to give birth with. But wait, he so, did, but the baby... But did Herschel wasn't even there, was no, he? No, Maggie is the one that Maggie delivered. Maggie was the one that... Do you think Maggie's going to be around if Herschel's dead and Glenn's dead? She's oh, probably going to go off true, and kill true, herself. True. <laughs> true. Beth wouldn't be alive anymore. No, she probably not. would have killed herself. She so almost, she yeah, almost died yeah. anyway. So yeah, exactly. Like, went into a coma so state, there yeah. we go. There's like six characters already dead. Shane would have been the destruction of the group, point blank. Period. Yeah. 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 Damn. I agree with that. Shit. So there's all my wrenches thrown in. What's your theory? <laughs> <laughs> Jesse's good. That's why I go last. Yeah, I just, I well, well, no, because I, I, I knew, I knew, I knew you were gonna have something profound, and I didn't actually have anything. I, I honestly, (laughs) my big thing was the last video we did that if, if Rick and Shane both survived, but that's, but this way, I mean, I'm kind of gonna piggyback off of both of you. I think, I think the, I think they would stay. Whether or not he killed the three men, like you said, Jesse, they wouldn't trust him. I do believe that Lori would go back to him. But, Mike, I don't agree that it's it's being naive. I think it's like I said, that she's willing to do what she can to be with someone to keep her son her. and baby alive. That's the only reason yeah. why she went to Shane anyway. And she's even said it. She's like, the only reason why I was with him was because he could protect me and, and Carl. So I think right away that that's what happened. Would everyone believe him? And 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 what? no, but he is a strong personality. Whether or not yeah. he, I think he would even he'd be even put the beat down on whoever didn't want to follow his way. That's that's why yeah, that's why I feel like he wouldn't take any like if Herschel came to him and said get the, you know what get I mean? off my he's like no this is yeah. my farm now. No one would do anything. Yeah. I mean they may try and he'd end up killing them because you're not going to stop Shane and he's super fucking is, unstable. But the thing is know? that's the thing he's not he's not a tyrant like the other bad guys like Negan or the governor but he is his own monster and you know so as I, far as I, I think it would have been how they how they respect Rick I think it, they would have stayed with with Shane out of fear the way they do with Negan. Exactly. Yeah, and even the they, governor, they even did it with the governor because it was somebody that was in charge. And let's face it, ninety-five percent of the people in that world in this universe do not want to be the one in charge, and they don't want to yeah. think for themselves. They just want to follow and be told what to do to survive. That's ninety-five, ninety-seven percent of the people that we're, mm-hmm. we've we've seen on these shows. So I think when you become an alpha or you possess the skills to be an alpha, then that's a that's a something that people will follow regardless. So yeah. Either way you cut it, whether it was your scenario or Jesse's scenario, it's mm-hmm. like they would, Shane would be the, the destruction of the group. But I still believe yeah. w- whether that's the situation or not, whoever was left from that group, he would form a new group. Um, you know, so, so, okay. Yeah. So we've all, so we've all put that out there. What do you, how, let's just say he's got a new group. Either way it happened. All right. Um, there's more or less of the original group with him or not. How do yeah. you think? I mean, they most likely would have met up with the governor anyway. They most likely would have met would have met up with Negan anyway. Well, the governor's whole thing was the prison. If they can't keep the prison safe, then. But that's there, the thing, though. No he, do you think? Do you think Shane would have put out 
like put an assault on the governor? Would he have met him and killed? We, I mean, we've mentioned this in the last video too, and I, I think, I guess yeah. we don't really have to because we, we said he would probably just fucking kill the governor. He'd yeah. be more. Ta the thing is, he'd be very tactical about it, like we said, and I'll, I'll reiterate. I think he would, if they were going to do that meeting, if it got that far, okay, yeah. he would have the meeting. He'd kill the governor. He'd bust out and he'd he would kill um, uh, Martinez. Martinez. He would kill. Uh, the who's the scientist guy? Milton. 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 They'd kill me. He'd kill, like he and the would other just guy. he would just wipe it out and then they'd go and take out take over. Would yeah, I could see I could see that too. I mean, I always even said that during you know when when I was still watching the season live. You know, why wouldn't you rather stay in a place like Woodbury? Woodbury was like a fantasy world. You know what I mean? As yeah. far from from the conditions of the prison, comparing the two. You know, so I I agree. I think Shane would go right in there and say we're taking. We're gonna attack the governor instead of Rick being trying to keep the peace and becoming Farmer Rick and and all that kind of stuff. Yeah. What about Negan? How do you they think? Wouldn't have got that far. What do you mean? They wouldn't have had to go to DC. If they stopped the governor, they wouldn't have had to go. That is something I totally forgot about. You're right. What about? So you well, don't think they that would they would have? You don't yeah. think they would have met Abraham on, and, and everything and? I mean, that's that's Woodbury wasn't on the route. Ethical, obviously, it's all just, you know, going off of, you know, there's no yes or no when it comes to that kind of question. But do you think Shane if, would have taken on the 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 duty of getting him to Washington? Or would know. he be like, I'm surviving? If it benefits I'm himself. And maybe, you know, that, that goes to the fact that, that if, if, if Judith is older now, if he's claiming her to be his, if he's with Lori, I think Shane still, like Rick, would want to protect. I think he's fans. still a group Rick, protector. You know I don't I mean? think, I don't think there's, it's a very selfish thing Shane at would, all. I don't think Shane would necessarily worry about the group at all. I don't think that Shane would do the whole, um, go rescue Merle from the, th you know, from the rooftop. No, that thing. he like, wouldn't do, but I, but. but Anything for Judith, Carl, and and uh, and Lori. I well, think, I think Shane the group, could... though, Jess. Do you agree with that? Like he he still want to look out for the group. He wasn't necessarily a selfish person. Person. He just wanted to do things his way. He did go down there after Daryl after Andrea shot him. Uh, that that's a definite. He did. He was clear out the barn pretty... for the betterment of the group. Even though the main reason for that was to protect Lori and Carl. Mm -hmm. That's what I'm saying. So. He mentions that so many times. As he, long as it benefits well, himself and the and, three of okay, the Grimes, yeah. all right, he'll he'll do it. Maybe. Yeah, you know what I mean. Uh, that's just the way. That's the the big difference between Shane and Rick. Okay. You know what I mean. If we if we were to play around and say the whole Negan thing, if we if we started um, if we said straight off the bat that Shane was still around, how would he deal with Negan? You know what I mean. If if um, Lori was still around, even if we just say that the group was still together for however reason, Shane is still with them and he's he's leading this group. And then he encountered Negan like Rick did. Then that's that's another question. How would you guys think? Well, that's why I was asking you because I he think wouldn't he have would have backed down and would have got a skull beat in. Well, I think he still would have done the same yeah, let's, thing. Let's play that. What if Shane was there instead of Rick at the. You know, well, when everybody's kneeling. Well, wait a second. Go back a second, because the reason that happened to Rick and the crew in the show is because they attacked the outpost. The Would bond. Shane it's still that, have yeah. attacked the outpost? Yes. Probably. Oh. I think yes. I, I wholeheartedly agree that he would have done that. They would have put him in the same predicament, and yeah, they would have been there. However, there would be a completely different group, because I don't think any of the people that we <laughs> that we knew would be in his well, group. Well, there'd be Carl. There'd be Lori. Um... Well, let's just have some fun and say they would be there. You know what I mean? Yeah, well, if they all all I'm saying, saying yeah, yeah. is if instead of Carl getting shot in season two, yeah. if it had been Andrea or somebody like that getting shot behind the deer, he wouldn't have gone to get the medicines and stuff. Yeah, true. true. Yeah, I, <laughs> true. What about know. Alexandria? What about um, dealing with... Um... Yeah, He would have found a way to kill Deanna and take over. Right? Yep. I mean, we've seen the evolution of Rick, obviously. You but know. Rick's always had so, that compassion, be, though. But he's he does always have had the that compassion. He does have that Shane compassion. Shane doesn't have that compassion or didn't have that compassion. So. I mean, Shane never really made you know love to the camera with his eyes like Rick does all the time. No, that's true. <laughs> 
he did <laughs> he did he did beat it to death though with his eyes yeah. so you know there's a there's a, there's a difference there <laughs> Um, all right, guys. What do you think? Is I mean, is that enough yeah, conjecture? Yeah. Should we should we see what everyone else thinks and uh, continue this in the comments below? I think I think we we put out put it out there enough. Guys, let us know what you think. What your what your theories? I want to thank everyone for giving us their theories on our previous video. Uh, some really good stuff there. And if we haven't gotten to yeah. your to your to your comment, we will just uh, hang on there. Uh, we're gonna get through a bunch of others. And um, yeah, so. Let us know what you guys think, you know. Let us know if you guys like these videos because these are kind of fun for us. These are something a little bit different. We get to, you know, throw our crazy, you know, theories out there. Um, but, yeah, we're going to I like keep... playing Mario. So. Yeah, Jesse just likes – Jesse's good at this. He, he keeps shutting me down. That's you know? That's why I'm kind of just like, uh, I'm going to let you guys go. I'm gonna, yeah, I'm going to go I'll... last so I don't sound like an idiot <laughs> in the beginning, uh, you know. Jesse's yeah. like, wait, all right, let's – off camera, we're like, let's hear – you know. Yeah. And he's like, uh, wait, well – and he just <laughs> fucks me over here, this guy. It's not my fault. I've watched the episodes no. like six times each. No, yeah, I know. Anyway, I know. guys, <laughs> I hope you enjoyed this. Thank you so much. And uh, we'll see you on the next What If video. Um, don't sure. forget, you can check us out on Third Person Pod, or at Third Person Pod, I should say, and all those social medias. Uh, check out our giveaways and all our other videos. Uh, and um, yeah, thanks for watching. And uh, we'll see you next time. Peace out. Peace.